Now, good morning, everyone. Today we're going to do a little bit of bee work. Um, should have been doing this weeks ago, but you know how it is. You get busy, and they keep getting getting back burnered and back burnered. Tomorrow or this morning, we are going to take the nuke we got from JC's Bees. I'll link the video up here to where we went and got that. Actually, over here, and uh, we're going to move this nuke of bees into a 10 frame box and then we're going to go back to the other bee yard and check those two hives and probably add a uh, super to both of those hives. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to our channel. We're, we're glad, glad you're, you're here. here. Okay, I've already brought the 10 frame box up and uh, put four frame or five frames of foundation in it. This inner cover is going to be glued down here. Pretty good, it yes, sounds it like is. it. Ooh, look at them bees. Oh my god. Wow, we are full. No, Man, I, don't think they, I don't think they did swarm on us. Yep. There's way too many in there. Boy, they are packed in there. God, how are you even getting them out? I'm not sure yet. But they've got themselves glued in here good. There's a plastic frame in there. Alright, let's see. Just a, just a pinch of smoke. Oh jeez. They've got that glued in there, something fierce. Yep, and this again is what happens when you don't spend the time that you should be spending to properly take care of your bees. We're repeat offenders. We don't know where the queen is, so we don't want to take the chance of pinching her down in here. Got ladies, inexperienced idiot coming through. <laughs> <laughs> they know just how to take care of that. Yeah. Wow, look at all that brood over here. Yeah. That's mostly drone, I believe. It looks pretty big. You don't see any red dots over there, do you? I'm For Mark Queen? Looking, I'm looking. No. I don't see her either, so let's slide that back. going to remove that. remove that because it's drone brood which we don't really necessarily need. I don't like the way need. that's sitting there. I'm afraid it's going to fall. There we go. I'm not wearing my gloves. I'm scared. At least your fingers aren't in here. 
Yeah, that's that's on that plastic foundation. They must not like that plastic foundation right there. So they build up around it. Are these all plastic foundation then? Uh, I'm not sure if he uses all plastic or not. Okay, that gets us down to worker drum or worker brood there. So this one is good to go in. Now, should we have moved this box and positioned we'll that one? We'll move it over here okay. once we get them all out. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, they seem busy doing what they're doing and not caring about me too much. Looks as though they've been chewing on the cardboard. Is that what that is in the bottom? It's in the bottom and it's down there on the front, on the ground. Okay, that one's loose. But yet it doesn't look damaged anywhere. Wow. This side is solid brood. Is that this side? side is brewed with some pollen in it. I still, I'm still looking for the queen. Still I don't see her unless she's hanging underneath. And we've got another little little spot of oh. pollen I need to scrape off on this side. Great. How are you going to do that without smashing, smashing people? Now you've done it. Yeah, now I'm making that. There's a lot of bees in this tiny little box. Time for number three here. This side doesn't look like it has any extra comb on it. You see the honey gooking out of that one? Yeah. Got it, ladies. I hope this video is hard to see. All this, the sun and the shade areas. I don't see any queen over here. I don't see any. A lot of brood though. Honey on the top. No queen cups though. I'm surprised. Well, yes. is that what this is right here on that corner? Uh, no. Not that quite big one, enough? That is one drone. Okay. Nope, I'm not seeing the queen there either. if she's in that corner. That's a possibility. The way they're all collecting in the corner of that box. And yeah, we'll find out shortly here. Oh no, you just squished somebody. Honey on this side. It's all brood on this side. Well, that's that's, that's all, all brood. brood. That's oh. all brood. Jeez. All right, last frame here. Oh, there's where they're chewing on the bottom. Yeah. You see it now. It's chewed through. I'm concerned that we haven't found our oh, come on now. our girl yet. Wow! 
boy, this You're going to have to break that loose a little bit better, I think. Packed on there tight. Come on. There we go. Looks like they've glued down the side of it as well. Here she is, right here. Yep, there's our queen. There she is. So we'll get this frame over there immediately. But she's not much bigger than the rest of them, is she? Uh-uh. She'd be hard to spot without that dot. Yeah. She's not real long. All right, everybody's in there. But she must be a strong one. Put right here. Well, they should be some happy campers. I'll tell you what, they're definitely gentle bees. JC knows what he's doing when he breeds them because, I mean, I've had more trouble with these little sweat bees on me than I have the actual bees. making her sting me. All right, we can get this top on here. Smell the pollen. These girls are carrying. All right, there we go. They're all in there. There she goes. <laughs> She's loaded. Alright, well they should make their way back in. We'll probably clean up some of that honey on the comb we took out. We can uh, we can take this one back. If I can get her off. Give this to the chickens, a drone brood. We'll enjoy that. And we'll make our way back to check the other two hives and at least give them a super. Let's head back to the other bee yard. Okay, here we are back in the other bee yard. One's back in the back in the woods, all shaded. Um, don't think we're actually going to get into these hives. Probably a mistake, so I better. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get into these. I was, I was just going to put the supers on them and get out, but we should probably have a look, make sure they're not preparing to swarm or anything. As you can see, we got good uh, good numbers in this one. And I don't know if these are going to be as happy to work with as the ones up front. They've definitely been gluing. Well, some pretty good numbers. Got a lot of a lot of comb there on the top. We'll scrape that off. You want to scrape that off the top of these before we start yeah. making them mad? I also didn't bring my frame rest back because I wasn't thinking. Oh. I should have done a disclaimer long ago. I am no beekeeper. I am no professional. I have very little idea what I'm doing. Pretty much just watch videos, which is I assume what you're doing right now. And hopefully I, I get good information from the videos I watch. And then I hope that I pass good information in the videos I make. So any questions or comments or suggestions are always welcome. I know I had a good, uh, good suggestion about the queen in this hive because this is the one that we split about 
getting rid of some of the smaller early queen cells, which we did. If you've seen some of the other videos, this is one that we split early this spring off of the other hive over there. And I've also marked this queen. Oh boy, they are tight in there. Woo! Okay, let's just have comb on this side. We've got a nice amount of capped honey on that one. So we'll just set it over here. Since I don't have my frame rest. See how prepared we are? <laughs> Again, I'm no bee, <laughs> no bee professional. <laughs> wow, that was a heavy one. Honey and honey on this side. Wow. That was kind of a weird shaped frame, but not a lot I can do about it now. Okay. Alright, well, we got the frame rest since we were up there getting the bee suit on. Try not to be a be a wimp, but I mean these are these are not happy. Yeah, look around me already. Me too. I hate using gloves, but I'm getting some more. That's why I tried to avoid getting stung earlier, because I know once you get stung once, then they just all join in on the bandwagon. It just causes a frenzy. Um, your bricks are in the way here. I'm not putting more up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a big difference between these bees and that newt from JC's bees because it just got me through my pants. Anyway, what color am I looking for? Red again. Oh, okay. There. So I'd like to I'd like to split this today, but we just don't have the time. This is the disadvantage of me working second shift. Got a couple hours in the morning to get things done, and then that's it. Yeah, they're down there on my pants. There, one already got me in my thigh. Well, one thing you need to change is you need to put your pants on the outside of your boots, not tucked in. It makes a difference because they can crawl down your pants. Oh. Brood and honey, bone brood. Still no queen. Still haven't seen the queen. Queen cups. I definitely have queen cups. So we'll have to get a little better prepared tomorrow and come back here and split this hive. Before they split themselves. There's a lot of bees in that box. I'd venture to say that the suit's probably safer from hunting stones. Smoker into a flame flip. Well, look that way, didn't it? <laughs> These girls on here. Scrape this off. What we're gonna add is a nine frame. Super. It's got some partially drawn comb in it. From the last 
last year. So we'll go back down in there and get busy working. I'm sure this big uh, this big pile needs just kind of gander down in there, make sure we don't have our our queen in that menagerie. Can you just pick them up and drop them on top, or? That should get them going. They'll be up in the high pretty soon. Now, now we made one hive mad. Well, on to the next. And this is the one that we split. Yes, this is the one those bees came out of. Okay. So possibly both of these are ready to split. Oh, yes, they yes, are. Yes, they are. <laughs> And we are not even going to mess around. Getting down in this one. We are just going to give them their super. Clean off this top. Oh yeah, this hive is even more angry than the other one is. in for a doozy tomorrow. Well, I hate to wait. This might be better off to do something with all the work because I don't have to rush to get to work. Well, if we get up early enough. Yeah, I mean, they both have extra room now. So that should help. And I wonder if uh, the smart thing to do would be to call JC buy two queens and re both of these with his queens. Because it's night and day between these bees and them ones out front. Oh, it is. I mean, they were just, just as calm as could be, could care less I was in there, never even thought about stinging me. And this group back here is just the opposite. But, they're out in the sun, and these are back here in the shade. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But anyway, here we are. We've got. Could ask JC, he may know. Uh, you know the, the usual is to put your bees out in the sun. You know, we've got his place, his nukes were all out there in the sun. Yeah. I mean, my theory on this was a wild hive in a tree is back here in the shade. That's why I thought I'd try these Bruce. back here and see if they produced more or less than the ones that were in the sun. Just a little experiment. But then again, we lost six, seven hives up there last winter. This is the only survivor, and it was back here in the shade. So, I don't know. We'll probably keep these back here. Keep the experiment going. But we definitely have two strong hives back here, which is a very good Strong, sign. angry hives. Yeah. So if we can, uh, we can split both of these in the next couple days, we'll have four hives back here. And I'm probably going to try and split that other hive out front. It would be nice to have a few hives of those gentle bees out there. And less of the, these angry ladies back here. <laughs> so if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I'm sure this video, I'm not sure how the editing is going to go, but I'm sure this video is longer than I planned it was going to be. But I uh, hope there's some information that, that does somebody some good. Um, any questions or comments, like I said, put them down below. Any suggestions or uh, ideas that you see I'm doing wrong or anything, please let me know. Uh, appreciate if you subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.